Were you also wondering why they're telling us that the north and south walls of the living room are parallel? I kept looking at this diagram and, and kept asking myself, why would I care to know that these lines are parallel? And then it hit me. We, we have two similar triangles here. We have that upper, smaller triangle and then a bigger triangle that holds it. And those are similar triangles and we know this because, exactly because those lines are parallel. Okay, so there are similar triangles. So what? Well, if we look at the upper left line, it looks like it's split in half, 30 and 30. And the fact that that line is split in half implies that this right-hand side line is also split in half. So if the bottom part is 15, the upper part must also be 15 for a total of 30. Again, this is because these are similar triangles, and I know that they're similar triangles specifically because those two lines are parallel. So this must be the reason why they're telling us that those lines are parallel. So now that I've inferred that that line is a total of 30, I can see that we're looking at a equilateral triangle. The, the triangle that they're asking about is an equilateral triangle. Now, there's one formula that I think is worth memorizing for the area of an equilateral triangle, and that is that the area is equal to the side squared times square root of 3 divided by 4. So if we call the side of an equilateral triangle A, we could just memorize A234, right? A234, A squared root 3 over 4. Plugging 30 into A, we get 30 squared times root 3 over 4. I would probably split the 30 squared into its prime factors, so it's 3 squared times 2 squared times 5 squared times root 3 over 4, and then I can reduce the 2 squared and the 4, and I'm left with just 3 squared, 5 squared, square root of 3, or 15 squared, square root of 3, and 15 squared is 225. So we have our answer now, it's 225 times square root of 3. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.